So when I do a field tested gear review and I say we're hard on gear, we're hard on gear. Hey everyone, this is Zach with the Iowa Plainsman Outdoors. Uh, as we get closer to the end of 2018 and close to the beginning of 2019, I was wanting to do just a five part video series on uh, the five best things that I have bought to help my outdoor game in 2018. Uh, I'll be doing reviews on them, you know, kind of give you my uh, detail of my experience with them. It's like a field tested gear review series. Uh, these are not necessarily things that were new in 2018. Actually, I don't think any of them were. Uh, they're just things that I, I got throughout the year that I really, really enjoyed using. Um, generally, I have a high opinion of. I wanted to share that with you. I'll be giving kind of the details on them, you know, maybe where to buy them, how much they cost, things like that, too, uh, as well as my experience with them. I'll be releasing them from number five, which is uh, on the, the lower end of the good, uh, all the way up to number one, which is my, you know, my best purchase of 2018. All right, so the item that I give the number five spot to for uh, purchase of 2018 is my Whisker Seeker Tackle 110 pound digital scale. Um, as you can see, uh, it's obviously got the tear button, um, but it's got an on off button and then the unit button, it measures in uh, pounds, ounces, and kilograms uh, if for some reason you're so inclined. So mainly I use this scale for catfish. I mean, obviously if I wanted to weigh a crappie or a bass or something like that, you know, walleye, uh, I could do so. Uh, but when I was searching for a good scale, um, I wanted something that could get, uh, it could weigh a fish that was larger than what your average scale weighs. A lot of the ones you'll find in sporting goods stores, uh, like the Rapala scales will go up to like 25 pounds, 50 pounds, stuff like that, which is fine for most species of fish. Um, if you chase big flatheads like I do, where you, you run a very real possibility to catch one that's 50 plus, you, you're going to want to weigh it um, and make sure you know, you know exactly how, um, how much it weighs. One thing that was advertised on this scale that I think is kind of neat is it is a uh, certified scale like for, for record keeping. For some reason in that once in a lifetime opportunity, you catch some record fish. Uh, a lot of times you need to weigh it with a with a certified scale. You'd have like a photo and a witness and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but it's just kind of one of those peace of mind things. Like, what if we were out there and caught some 90 pound flathead? Um, how would we come up with a certified scale? Uh, Whisker Seeker, excuse me, Whisker Seeker advertises that this scale is a certified scale, uh, just you know, for record keeping. So that's kind of a neat little thing. Um, it's very durable. I mean, if you notice any of my field tested gear reviews, I, I test hard for durability. We're really tough on gear. I think we left this scale in the boat one time uh, for like a month and it got rained on and like the bottom of the boat was muddy uh, and then we turned it on and it just, no problem, didn't phase it. Uh, I had a scale before that I got off of Amazon. It was like a cheapy uh, $10 doctor meter, I think is what it was called. I was actually going to do a negative review on it, but didn't bother. Um, I got like a little bit of moisture on it and then died. So this scale was about 40 bucks and I can, I'll post a link to, uh, to the scale in the description. You can check out the price for sure. Uh, it was about 40 bucks. It's a little, you know, it seems a little steep for a scale, but it's durability has lived up to, uh, what my expectation would be. It's a certified scale. Um, there's uh, another really neat feature here, which I'm going to show you right now. So the sides on this actually flip out to be handles and they're really, they're really sturdy. So if you were to catch a fish, it's actually going to be in that 110 pound range or even 40 pounds, you know, 50, 60. Um, those handles are just really nice for being able to hang on to the scale. It's got the loop up top here. Like if you want to put a piece of rope as a handle up there instead, um, that would work just fine. But these flip out handles, you know, they just, they collapse down just like so. Uh, those are really nice for, you know, we caught uh, one fish, I think, that was 32 and one that was 30 this year. Those handles are really nice just for, for just such a purpose. And so if you've seen any of my catfishing videos, you've seen me use this scale. Uh, I'm not sponsored or anything like that by Whisker Seeker. I'm just relaying information to you uh, as to, you know, product that I, that I liked this year. I would give that my number five spot. Uh, you know, for the year for my for my purchases, I thought that was really handy scale. We like to weigh our fish. We like to know, you know, how big we're catching. Um, we kind of just keep a mental note, you know, are we are we trending towards catching larger fish? 
uh, how big is fish are we catching in this area? You know, like one thing I've, we've noticed through weighing our fish over the last two or three years, I guess three years, is um, our average size of channel cat is going down, but our average size of flathead is going, you know, much, much further up. Um, this is a fun thing to kind of keep in mind. It's kind of nice for your, you know, your record, your own records, you know, you know how to maybe target the bigger ones a little bit better. Um, but that's it. So Whisper Seeker Tackle Scale, just to review, uh, it's got the flip out handles. Uh, which are great for weighing big fish. It gives you something to actually hang on to instead of just like a little metal bar that you can't hardly get one hand into. Uh, you can weigh a fish with two hands with that thing, and that's, it's a very sturdy scale. It's very durable, which is important to me over hard on gear. Um, like I said, we left that at the bottom of the boat for like a month once, and it was getting like rained on, and there was mud in the bottom of the boat, and it was it was rough. Um, still works and runs just fine. Uh, the certified scale aspect of it is pretty neat should you ever need a certified scale it's one of those things like you probably won't need it but if you ever do it's really nice to have um so that was uh definitely a good purchase again you know it's about 40 bucks uh, i'll put a link down in the description if i can find a link to it um should be on the whisker seekers website but i'll try and find a link for you so you can check it out yourself um that's my number five uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing all uh, all the way up to my number one purchase uh, in this series. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you again.